Hi guys, so I've got quite a few sets built for my Tomb of Horrors, but I thought I'd have some fun and print out some fun little miniatures and yeah, do some little photo shoots with them. So I've got this little uh, lady, um, she's a satire or a fawn, sort of both the same sort of thing I guess, and I got her from Twin Goddess Miniatures on my mini factory. Link in the description guys, so go check them out. The miniatures all come with supports, which is awesome. So you just take them into the software, stick it on a USB, stick that little fella into the side of the Anycubic Photon Mono 3D printer, which is obviously what I'm using, push a couple of buttons, and off she whizzes. And yeah, a couple of hours later, and out she pops. And yeah, really impressed with the quality and the look of these little miniatures. Um, great detail, and looking awesome, basically. I primed her in white as I'm using the speed paints from Army Painter. Received these a few days ago, so this is the second miniature I'm painting. And yeah, I really was impressed on the last miniature. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get the sort of same results, or if not better, uh, this time basically. So yeah, using the skin colour, going over, and say so you literally do just paint normally. There's no real difference in how you sort of style of painting, or certainly not in my style of painting, that's for sure. So it really does feel like you're just sort of doing the, uh, the base colour. But obviously you're doing one coat, and you're getting the base colour, the highlights, and the shadows um, all in one go. So yeah, obviously you live it up to its name, Speed Paint, which is awesome, because I do like things that uh, do what they say on the tin. Um, yeah, loving these paints. Um, they are going to get obviously a lot more variety in colours coming out next year. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting more and more of these ones. Don't forget guys, my videos certainly aren't tutorials on how to sort of do things. Uh, especially when it comes to painting, I really am a sort of pick it up, have a go. If I'm having fun and it doesn't come out too bad, then I'm happy. Um, yeah, there's loads of other great YouTubers out there that will obviously show you sort of tips and tricks on painting. Um, yeah, I really am a case of get it all on there and sort of hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, as I always say, if you're having fun and it comes out and you're happy with it, then it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks, uh, job done really. Something I will end up doing is probably making a little pot holder uh, for these little paints. As you can see in the background there, uh, my little bit of cardboard's um, got a bit of a covering to it. And that's where somehow, I, I don't know how I did it, I picked up a brush, I knocked the bit of cardboard, that knocked over the bottle, and yeah, the bottle went everywhere. So it's probably the first time ever I've spilt a bottle of paint. Uh, as you'll all know, when I used to use the contrast paints, I had a little, uh, well, a little contrast paint holder that I made out of sprues. So maybe I need to do something similar for these uh, these smaller bottles. Um, yeah, just goes to show having that uh, the sprue holder bottle thingy. What's it? Uh, it? Certainly worked, even though I never actually nudged it. And lo and behold, I've got this little bottle, and I actually knock it over twice, uh, which is why you can now see there's a new bit of cardboard underneath my painting. Uh, so yeah, so look out for me building some sort of bottle uh, bottle holder, but um, hey ho. Anyway, back to the painting. Uh, so yes, yeah, so obviously the Mona Lisa, obviously I didn't paint that, no surprises there. Uh, that was a good old image, um, just printed out and then stuck onto the little, uh, little sort of canvas sheet thingy and job done. So yeah guys, there's still time to take advantage of the Christmas sale over at Anycubic. Um, there's only a few more days left. But the savings are <laughs> quite substantial. Uh, the printer I currently use, it's $330 less if you buy it now, which is pretty awesome. So go check that out. And yeah, there she is, all done and dusted. And yeah, really pleased to say that the speed paints, they are, they're great. They work really well. They're nice and easy to use. And I, well, I love the results. And obviously, I think she looks really good in my, uh, my little set, which is obviously one of the sets for the Tomb of Horrors. A little campaign I'll be running sometime next year. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I just want to say a quick shout out and thank you to all my patrons, as well as the sponsors for helping making it possible for me to sort of keep making these videos and obviously buying the materials I need to build stuff. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave comments down below, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care. Bye for now.